AK, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I would like to show you guys um, the story of how I made um, this GIF. So um, it's nothing much really, it's just this simple idea that I had and then I decided to show you guys. Um, but before we go into the tutorial, I would like to appreciate the love and support I got on my other tutorial for LAX Lose My Mind. If you haven't seen the video, please go check it out, go like, go comment, go support the boy and make sure you subscribe to my channel. So now let's go into the tutorial. Um, but this tutorial, we are not doing something really much, but if we can get this um, video to 1k views, I promise I'm going to do an extended tutorial of how I worked um, with this um, simple GIF animation in um, Photoshop to After Effects to get something like this. Yeah, so watch this video, recommend it to your friends, and um, let me know what you think. So, like I said, let's get into the video. Okay, so the main thing about this video is. Um, the reference for this um, GIF was something I saw online and then I just redrew over it. This was not sketched from the scratch. I just redrew it. Um, I redrew, I draw with my iPad and the Apple Pencil. I used the iPad 12.9 inch 20, 2017, the second generation and um, works pretty well for me. So now that I have um, this um, um, okay, so animation in Photoshop is something simple, really. Nothing much. You have to work with the frames. So as you can see, I have the hands on separate layers. I drew it on separate layers. I have the phone on separate layers. And then I've painted it. So basically, how do you paint in Photoshop after having a sketch like this? I'm just going to teach you this trick so that you can use it to paint quickly in Photoshop. So what you do is you select your magic wand. Make sure that all of your sketches are being closed. That is, you don't have any O's in between the line at. So it's something really close like this. And um, if you use the magic wand, you create a simple perfect selection inside the line at. But if you fill it in with a picture underneath the line at, you will have some little... Let me do it. I'm just going to run over it quickly. Um, let's say I'm using this color. I'm sure. Oh, sorry. And so, I just said, out delete. Okay, now as you can see, I didn't have the problem here, but normally you can run into the problem whereby you have spaces in between the color and um, the line art. So, what you do is go to select, go to modify, and expand it. You can put it on expand by one pixels and then it just expand and just make it look more neater. So now if you fill it in, you fill it in more nicely and more clearly. Okay, now that we have done, that you have known that idea, I think I can move on and just get into the main tutorial of what we're about to do today. So now I have um, my paintings all done this way. It's nothing much really, just all the paintings on separate layers and then I have for the phone and then I have for the little toy over here so another thing I did was to I added in my details on the phone as you can see these are the details on the phone and then now to the main thing that will be animating which would be a light I created a glitching light effect on the on the canvas so before we do that let's just create our shadows so as you can see the shadow is something really simple really i got it from the reference of um, the original um, artwork that i worked with so we have something like this and then i have the lights as you can see now i have the lights and then i have i use my soft brush to paint on it uh where's the uh, okay this is it. I'm not sure if you can see, but this is it. Just give it some softness and just soften the texture of 
the old artwork okay so now that we have this what you need to do now is you work with a timeline frame if you don't have it you go to windows you go to timeline you might see something like let me redo it you go to timeline you see something like create video timeline or create frame timeline so you just click on the little button beside it and just make sure you're working with the frame timeline okay so now we're going to do it frame by frame so now I have this frame normally the frame will be on zero seconds no delay so for this I'm just going to create duplicate this I'll press this little button to get this other two frames that we're working with so I'll switch the light off here how do I do that just switch it off switch the layer of that light off here remember anything you do anything you do on this one on this layer will not affect the first layer or the following layer because they are on separate frames you get so now I can just select this two by pressing by holding shift and clicking on the two frames then you can duplicate them now I can just add some little delay to it I can add one second to this one and then if you play it now you have this animated kind of feel so another thing I did on this tutorial was I added something if you notice it I'm not sure if you notice it um, the system is acting up it's cute into it okay so let me just cancel this okay so I added this little wind blowing on the frame so I will just like to show you the simple idea base behind that simple animation I did just duplicate the last frame duplicate it like three times let me work with three okay now I'll be connecting my iPad to my system using uh, the AstroPad app I'll be dropping the link to the AstroPad app in case you have you also own an iPad and you want to connect your iPad to your MacBook Pro okay so to your MacBook okay so now I can just open up the AstroPad okay now it is opened now go to the first to the sixth frame now the frames work with the layers if you create a layer for a frame the layer will only affect that frame what do I mean by that okay let's say I'm using the white um, color now and I just use this little brush to just brush over this as you can see this is it now that layer won't affect this new frame as you can see it is being switched off so now I'm going to create another layer and then I'll just go over it like this don't mind the wind it's just something simple really you can go on Google and just up and just study how wind blowing works you get so I'm just freestyling here I'm going to create another layer so now I can just create the final wind okay now so if you play this what do you have you have the wind blowing okay so this is our this is just the basic idea behind animation in general you know the big budget animation and every animation you have been seeing online they work frame by frame you know so if um, you like this tutorial and um, I get um, 1k views on this tutorial I'll be doing the advanced um, after effects tutorial of how I got um, the simple text animation on it and the camera shake also if you like to know it because I think I've done it on my other tutorial which is for the LAX lose my mind um, tutorial you can check out my channel and just watch the videos I have and just tell me what you think and just comment what you would like to see next on this channel um i appreciate the love and the support guys please make sure you subscribe please make sure you share this with your friends make sure you like and um 
I hope to see you back here very soon. Once again, it's your boy AK. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at AK Graphics at AK that we can. You can follow me on Twitter at AK Graphics underscore. Okay, and I would also like to show you guys um, my break um, through at work during this insas protest that we had in Nigeria because we have been having police brutality problem in Nigeria. So I was the one that was created um, this at work and um, it went viral and just almost everywhere so just want to show you guys so i'm the creative behind this particular um manipulation so if you have seen it anywhere you've seen my work and um just comment something below in the comment box in the comment section thank you guys i love you once more it's your boy ak and i hope to see you soon thanks